Jacob Martin is going to be a situational pass rushing weapon for Robert Sulla and the New York Jets this season. In their off-season documentary, Flight 2022, the pro scouting department referred to him as an ideal secondary wave rusher. So let's break down the film together and I'll show you why I loved the Jacob Martin signing for the New York Jets. Let's go. This video is brought to you by Magic Spoon. Cereal reinvented. Zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. 140 calories per serving, and they're keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. I personally like the peanut butter the best. Really incredible how much muscle building protein is in there, how little in the way of carbs and sugar, considering how great the taste is for the peanut butter and all the other flavors, but peanut butter is my personal favorite. Click the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your very own variety box using the promo code PLAJ for five bucks off. Cocoa, fruity, frosted peanut butter, cookies and cream, maple waffle, blueberry muffin, cinnamon roll. And do not forget that Honey Nut is coming back to the permanent collection, so you can add that to the box as well. I recommend the peanut butter. It's my personal favorite. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will give you your money back, no questions asked. Click the link below, use the promo code PLAJ for five bucks off, or go to magicspoon.com slash PLAJ to save five bucks off your order today, and be sure to add the new Honey Nut to your custom box, and trust me, try the peanut butter too. Also for our Canadian and British viewers, Magic Spoon is now shipping to Canada and the UK too, so enjoy. What's going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back looking at another Jets free agency edition and this time it's Jacob Martin, the former Houston Texans edge and I think this is an ideal role player for the Robert Sulla defense. Used in those third and long obvious passing situations, he can have a real impact on this team and it all starts with his outside pass rushing moves. He's a great exponent of the cross chop and that's where we're going to start right now. Against the Tennessee Titans, he's going to be on the right-hand side of your screen, number 54. Jacob Martin wins with the cross chop. Does a fantastic job gaining separation, beating that tackle with technique, and then forcing the ball out. So let's break it down together. Comes off the snap extremely well. Threatens the tackle with a bull rush. Comes at the chest. You can see that tackle start to square up. He's concerned he's going to go speed to power. You then see Jacob Martin plant that right leg in the ground. He uses it to propel to the outside and gain that separation. And at the same time, he simultaneously chops down with that right arm. Look at him control the elbow of the offensive tackle. He eliminates the hand and that means he's going to win the rep. Fantastic job. Simultaneously cut and swipe. He then uses that left arm to slingshot himself. He wraps it around the back of the tackle, rips underneath with the right arm and gets to Ryan Tannehill. What does he do when he gets in the backfield? He makes plays on the football. Look at him utilize his length. Eyes on the football, swipes down, gets the fumble. You're going to see that littered on the Jacob Martin tape. He makes plays, he wins with the cross chop, and he always makes plays at the football. But I wanted to show you that Jacob Martin can execute this pass rushing move from both sides of the line of scrimmage. This time from the week prior against the Miami Dolphins, coming from the right-hand side of the formation, the left-hand side of your screen, Jacob Martin wins in the exact same fashion, threatening the bull rush, cross chop, and getting to the quarterback. And once again, the ball is out. So let's take a look at it now and slow it down. Coming from the left-hand side of your screen, threatens with that wide arc to come through the chest of number 74. Right here, you can see him starting to think he needs to back up and he's concerned. He propels off the inside leg, creates separation, a great job defeating the hands. As soon as he sees him shoot, gets to the elbow, controls it, then wraps around with the right arm exactly like we saw in the last rep, comes back with the rip with the inside arm, and then again makes a play on the football. He just is a very special pass rusher when it comes to his ability to simultaneously cross chop, get around the corner, flatten, and then make a play. I loved these from Jacob Martin, and this is why I think he can be super effective in this scheme. Now let's take it back a year prior, his first year with the Texans, against Patrick Mahomes' week one primetime game. Let's see what he's got. Rushing from the left-hand side of the formation, you're going to see him taking on a premier tackle, and once again, a little bit different technique-wise here. He goes for that chop. You can see him viciously swipe down with the right arm, eliminate the hands, 
but because the tackle is more patient and he doesn't get off balance, he isn't lunging and Martin can't kind of catapult himself around the corner. So he needs to consistently use those hands. Look at him hand fighting, swiping them away. You can see him go for a two hand swipe to finally eliminate the hands and then flatten to Patrick Mahomes. This just shows that there's more in the repertoire, even though he's using the same pass rushing move. Even though he doesn't beat the hands immediately, it's great technique and a great example of how you stack hand movements. And eventually, he gets around the corner, he chops, hand placement, and gets to Patrick Mahomes. So we've taken a look now at Jacob Martin's specialty. His ability to win to the outside with cross chop and hand placement. How do you counter that? There are a couple of fantastic examples against the Carolina Panthers. Number 54, right-hand side of your screen. Take a look at this filthy move that he wins two to the inside. Doesn't get the sack, but once again, he's able to get the pressure and flushes Sam Darnold out of the pocket. So what happens in this instance? You can see him win to the inside. Right now, though, he has that long leg, that long stride to the inside. He starts to turn his back. You can see the tackle here is concerned this is going to be a spin move and a counter back to the outside to attack the leverage that he's created. But look what he does. He then crosses his feet over. This is extremely impressive hip flexibility, pass rushing plan, the ability to sell outside spin move, but then bring that left leg back across and duck and get skinny back to the inside. That just impressed me so, so much. I love that he had this pass rush plan, that he had this counter, but he was also selling a different pass rush move within the inside counter. That's a fantastic job from Jacob Martin. I just thought this was one of his best pass rushing reps from the entirety of the 2021 season. From the same game, Jacob Martin this time coming from the left-hand side of your screen, and again, he's going to win to the inside. He's getting double teamed here. You've got the tight end and the right tackle, both having attention and eyes on number 54. You can see him get kind of pushed to the inside. I like the balance. I like the ability to get skinny in the hole. Look how he gets his body side on. He gives only half a target for Taylor Moton, and he can get to the inside and penetrate right in the middle of the pocket. Again, he flushes Sam Darnold out. Not every single play is going to eventuate in a sack. Sometimes they're going to be pressures. They're going to be QB hits. But this was a great example of Jacob Martin influencing and affecting the play with another inside move and being smart enough to identify what the offensive line and the tight end were trying to do to him. And in a similar vein, you want to talk about being able to read and react to what the tackle does. Against our very own New York Jets, Jacob Martin's on the left-hand side of your screen going up against George Fant. He identifies very quickly that Fant overpass sets to the outside in this quick pass set, and he's trying to get hands on him early and be dominant. So what does he do? He shoots off the ball, extremely good quickness, and get off. He gets to the inside. He then comes underneath with that rip with the right arm, gets to the running back with the chip, and just absolutely abuses uh, Ty Johnson does not do a good enough job staying in front. Martin then keeps that hand up, gets in the passing lane of Zach Wilson, and then just overwhelms him with his length. So what this is, a great example of being able to win to the inside to mix up your pass rushing based on what you see and identify from the left tackle George Fant in this instance. A really nice job from Jacob Martin. And then the play I wanted to finish with a great rep against the Miami Dolphins going back to a game we looked at earlier. Jacob Martin coming from the right-hand side of your screen. We've seen him win to the outside with the cross chop. We've seen him counter. We've seen him identify and change his pass rush plan based on what the offensive line is doing. But this time he just goes through the chest and absolutely bullies the left tackle. Now look, does Martin kind of get away with a hands to the face here? Yeah, of course he does. You can see him contact the face mask of the offensive lineman. But I like the way that he threatens him. You can see the tackle's worried about that cross chop move to the outside. He's turning his hips. So Jacob Martin goes straight through the chest, a great long inside arm, gains that separation, and then influences the play with a big hit on Jacoby Brissett, manages to force that ball out. Look, it ends up being a completion, but Jacob Martin showing off that he can go speed to power, that he can bull rush, and he has the full complement of pass rushing moves. So that's the book on Jacob Martin as a pass rusher. I didn't want to look at the running game stuff today. It's definitely a weakness of his, but this is how he's going to be utilized. Obvious passing situations, go and get the quarterback. You're going to see cross chop moves. You're going to see those inside counters, really good footwork, and you're going to see enough length to influence offensive tackles and go straight through their chest. 
That's Jacob Martin, and he's going to be a great addition to the New York Jets defensive line.